Now, this is an article. I, I want to show you how statistics can be manipulated. I talked about this on Wednesday because it really irritated me, but I want to share it. So the CDC is now saying, look, we had this increase in measles going on now globally. If I had to guess when, and I had to take my magic crystal ball and be like, hmm, 2021 seems to be a um, good time for this. But basically in the last couple of years, we're seeing a measles increase. Now they're saying, well, it's because all of you quit getting your shots. <sighs> but I think the last read that the pediatric population is about a 90% shot rate. Yeah. All right. Ninety percent. What was the whole thing during COVID? If we get X number of percent to do it, we want it to. But yeah. now they say, well, ninety's not enough, and they're telling you that if you're taking children overseas and this and that, you need to get a booster for them, a second measles shot. Now this came out of the CDC. Now here's the part that irritated the living crap out of me. The CDC said, look, children are one of the most at-risk groups for this severe illness. It's super serious. You got. You don't underestimate this thing. And this individual from the CDC said, the CDC estimates. I'm going to use the high number. Three out of every thousand people who get measles will die from the disease, and that's even with adequate care. Three out of every thousand. And I thought, my God, that's catastrophic. Hmm. Then they went on, and you got to love ego. They went on and said, almost, although most patients will recover, it's important to remember that prior to the widespread use of our... <coughs> for the measles, the U.S. measles rate was about four per million... Right, or it was three to four million cases per year with about 500 deaths on the high end. Now, I remember reading numerous things when they did this, when they put this out. I remember back in the mid-60s, 64, 65, 65 yeah. I've, I've seen the studies on this. We had anywhere from four to about 450 kids, people die every year from measles. It's too many, I understand that. But when I read this in this article, I thought, now wait a minute, 500 goes into 4 million cases, that would be about 1 in every 8,000 dying. Here they're telling you, it's 3 in every 1,000 now. And I had to think to myself, so when there were no shots, it was 1 in every 8,000. Now they're telling you, massive inoculation, and you're still going to see 3 in every 1,000 die. Even with adequate care. And I'm thinking, how much does our medical system completely suck if we've gained or lost that much ground since 1965. I thought in 1965, how great was our system? Let me check the cell phone I had in 65. Oh, it's not there. Mm -hmm. Let me do the MRI. Oh, they're not there either. How about the cats? I don't recall those even being there back then. So I'm thinking all of our medical tests, all of our technology, all the great advancements we've made in the last 60 we years. More than we, than we had. <clears throat> what do you do? So I look at this and I think, it's just a fear tactic. It depends on how you put it It is there. a bullshit fear tactic. First that they're throwing the out, they're saying, oh my God, the sky is falling. Do it, do it, do it. Why can't they just be honest and say, look, we got measles going up a little bit. We want to make sure your kids don't get this because if they do, it could be life-threatening. We just want to make sure they're taken care of. Here's what we want to do for everybody. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with just coming out, being honest with everyone? It doesn't scare you. Uh, that's exactly right. And so then I'm like, well, if you have to scare me into doing something. Then why do it? Uh, isn't that interesting? Fear is an interesting thing, guys. And, you know, it's funny as you go throughout history and you look at things that we don't understand. Right. And illness is really, you saw it for the last three years, right? Illness is something that scares people. Viruses, and we're all going to die, and here comes the pandemic and the flus and the plagues and so on. Those are scary to us. And human beings, when we don't understand something, we do one of two things. We flight. fear it or we worship it. Mm. That's it. All throughout humanity. You fear it or you worship it. You idolize it or you turn it into a devil. That's what we do. Build it a golden calf. And so all of a sudden, when you start fearing something, we know psychologically that if you want to get something inside someone's head, scare them. Make them afraid. Make them worry. And if you do it well enough, boy, you can make them do darn anything you want them to do.